You're watching KGUN 9 on your side. News at 5. When you step into Tucson streets, you're putting yourself up against, say, 4,000 pounds of steel, plastic, and rubber. But hundreds of pedestrians push their luck every day, and TPD has been on a push for pedestrian safety. Not in your sides, Craig Smith was there as police cracked down on one eye opening stretch of road. In the two blocks south of 22nd and Cole, there's a special hawk light to protect pedestrians on one end and a regular crosswalk with walk lights on the other. But this man would rather face about a dozen cars without any help. This time, a car doesn't run into him, but he runs into a motorcycle officer ready to write him up for jaywalking. Another officer intercepts this man, making that dangerous trip in the opposite direction. People seem to believe they will never be part of statistics like this. So far this year, Auto pedestrian accidents killed two pedestrians in Tucson and hurt 50. At least that's better than last year. By this time last year, five pedestrians were dead and 61 were hurt. The total for 2011, 18 dead, 160 hurt. Through the rest of this week, a grant from the governor's office of highway safety gives police the ability to devote more officers to pedestrian safety enforcement. What sort of things do you encounter when you when you stop a pedestrian who has crossed in a dangerous way? Well, many times they they're pretty upset with us or they're concerned about, you know, why we're choosing to enforce that that law. They may have done it many times in the past and they don't know why they're getting stopped today. What we try to exp express to them is that it's all about safety. That message includes pamphlets reminding pedestrians it's often just a few extra steps to a crosswalk with lights to help them cross safely. The sea of traffic here makes these two girls a little hard to see. They might be hard for a driver to notice too. They finally decided to cross at a crosswalk with lights. Did the presence of these officers have anything to do with that? No. Yeah. I didn't even see them until we were like right here. Do you tend to try to cross down there sometimes? Yeah. Why? Got a protected light there and a protected light there. Because it's just easier and quicker, faster to go straight. Here, in just three hours, watching a two block stretch, police stopped 29 drivers and pedestrians with the hope they will remember the encounter and keep safety ahead of convenience. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.